this may be the first biryani that I've ever liked. <laughs> hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. So yeah, I'm continuing a little Oldham series. There are a ton of amazing places to eat in Oldham. Simply Fresh have actually invited me down to try some of their food. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about this takeaway. If I'm being completely frank, I'm gonna go in, have a quick look at the menu, get some food, take it back to the car, and uh, just start that review for you guys. Like I said, kind of going in a little bit blind, not totally sure uh, what to expect actually, but very, very excited to get underway. So I'm inside and they've got some of the stuff that you might expect from a takeaway so like shawarma They've got some kabita which looks really nice, but they've also got some stuff like rotisserie chicken Dal soup, so they've got some really interesting menu items. I made sure to order them The guys are just making it now. I'm gonna take it back to the car and start that review I can't I can't actually wait to try a dal soup. That sounds really really interesting. So let's let them make it Let's take it back to the car. Right, so the food is here. Can I just quickly say before I start the review? This is weird, but they packed this so efficiently that literally it's boxes lined. If this was Tetris, it'd be like ping, 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 because it's packed like perfectly. <laughs> so there is a lot of food in this review, guys. So do stick around to the end. These guys have a really wide menu. And I've only, honestly, there's other items I could have got, but I've still got like five or six really cool looking items. So let's get started. So let's start with the chicken burger. This is their chicken burger. I think this is actually one of their best sellers. This looks pretty good. I like that it's got a crispy batter to it. They do do a double. Uh, I went for a single just to save a little bit of belly room. And this is the spicy as well. This is the single. The double must be a really good size because honestly, good size. Mmm. I love the batter on that. Crispness on point. Very flavorful. I like quite salty food and this is heavy on the salt for sure. Do chuck a little bit of maybe mayo on there just to balance that out. Got a really good kick to it. The quality of the chicken is nice as well. Let me just show you. Honestly, really tender, really soft. If I lived nearby, I would get that regularly. I am really enjoying this chicken burger. This is delicious. Let me just move on now to the wings. They actually have a massive rotisserie chicken, which I cannot wait to try. That looks so good. But I thought I'd try the wings first. The chap actually in store said these are quite spicy. He says they are actually really, really popular. So I thought I'd give them a go. I love the cooking of them. It, they look really good. These are cooked well. They're super soft. I love the flavoring. They actually have a decent kick to them. So they actually are quite spicy. Hey, man. These wings are wicked. I would get these again for sure. Really decent amount in there as well. I think you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six. Super soft, really succulent, really tender, flavoured really well, priced well. You just can't go wrong with these for a starter for sure. I'm looking forward to the rest of the food, but really good start. Next up, we've got the Kabida. This is a single Kabida. Put it on a naan. The naan itself, super fresh. Um, you can tell it's made in store. Really good springiness to the dough. The meat looks fantastic, so let me go for that. Like I said, I did want to, you know, they do offer like obviously salad and sauces and everything like that, but you know, what I wanted to do was actually just show off the meat itself. I didn't want, you know, on the video just to be full of salad. I want you guys to actually see what I'm eating properly. Um, I've got a salad on the side, which I'll probably add on after this review. I'm gonna pull off some meat with my naan. Let's give this a go. Yo, the food keeps getting better and better. That is a darn good kabida. Really meaty taste. Again, it's just, I love the actual non really makes a kabita for me because it's such a big part of the actual meal. If the meat is nice, that's great. If the naan is poor, it just kind of brings the meal down massively, right? Both elements here. The meat is really good. The kabita itself is made well. It's a good quality of meat. It's actually quite juicy. You can actually see the juices sort of, if you squeeze the kabita, you can see the juices and the fat just coming out. It's got really good fat content. The actual naan itself is delicious as well. And it's priced well too. Guys, I will put all the prices of everything I eat in the description. The prices here for what you actually get are very, very reasonable. Oldham has got some great joints and this is probably actually one of my favorite ones so far. This is a delicious kabita. I think what I would do is probably get the double. This is just a single because it's my first time, I didn't know what I was doing really. I was like, I don't want to waste too much food, I might not like it, but definitely go for the double kabida if you're coming here. So we've still got a ton of food coming, guys. We've got a ton of food. We've got the shawarma, which I'm going to try now. We've got the uh, rotisserie chicken and the dal soup as well. Give this shawarma a go. Shawarma's pretty good. The quality of the meat is nice. It's not too fatty. Shawarma is often made with thigh, but you know, so what you can do in, in some places, it can be very fatty. This, however, I feel like it probably is thigh. 
but it feels like there's some decent chunks of breast in there. It's a good, it's a good shawarma. You know, the other stuff was amazing. This is just good. If I was coming in regularly, I probably wouldn't get the shawarma. However, if you're a shawarma fan, this is a decent shawarma. Um, ooh, I've just opened the rotisserie chicken. Yo, this is just, yo, this looks actually phenomenal. This half a chicken with all this rice and stuff, I'll put the price on. I think it, I was invited, so, you know, full disclosure, this, you know, I, I haven't paid for this meal. Uh, so sometimes I take pictures of the prices and stuff, but I don't like remember immediately all the prices at the top of my head. Uh, but I just like basically put them in the description by Googling and, and finding the price. Why am I going into my process here? I, this, this amazing meal has just bamboozled me, right? It's lowered my guard. <laughs> this smells amazing. This rotisserie chicken, they cook it in like veg and their own blend of herbs and spices. The sauce on it looks phenomenal. It's so soft, I just picked it apart with this rubbish plastic little straw. They give you the option of white rice or biryani. I picked biryani, not a fan of biryani, but I did it for you guys, because I know you guys love bloody biryani. <laughs> Let's try the chicken first. It smells phenomenal. Let's get a bit of onion, actually. I do love onions. There is a punch of flavor. It is super. It is like a massive, tangy, vibrant flavor. There's a bit of sweetness there. It's not spicy. It's more of a, maybe something like a jerk type chicken, which does have a little sort of peppery kind of kick, but really it's got a lot of tang to it. Really, it's not really, um, this may be the first biryani that I've ever liked. <laughs> There's not much heat in the body of, of, of jerk sort of seasoning. This is in that vein, really. It's decent, it's really tasty. The chicken itself is phenomenal. If you like sort of tangy flavors, you'd like that personally. I'm not a massive fan of that kind of stuff, so I wouldn't necessarily get this again, actually, because I just don't like it. However, the chicken is cooked to perfection. It's cooked very, very well, super soft. The amount of flavor they pack into that sauce is crazy it's it's phenomenal I took a bite and i was just like wow it sort of hits you but again if you like that kind of tanginess sort of jerk style flavors maybe a little bit of barbecue because barbecue can be really really tangy right and a little bit sweet i think you'll really like that let's go for the rice do you know what yeah this may be the first biryani that i've ever liked <laughs> So moving on to my yellow. <laughs> no, this is the dal soups. I need to be careful. Someone made a comment, right, on here, and they were like, hey man, you've ruined your car because you ate a burger in it. I was like, I think the car will survive me having a burger in it. <laughs> so let's try this. This is a dal soup. I've never had a dal soup before. I imagine, I could be so wrong here. I've never even had one, but I imagine they grind the dal up, right? And they cook it in water and then reduce it and make it into a soup and blend it. They just blend it, right? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. You know what that tastes like, guys? That tastes like a concentrated dal. Um, but obviously, there's no dal texture there. It's got the texture of soup. It's not bitty at all. It's really smooth. That's actually... That's so unique. Um, I quite like that. I think I would like to... The Asian in me is coming out. I was about to say I'd like to dip a, like a, a roti in it, actually, but because it, it does taste exactly like dal, but in soup form. That's delicious. Final thoughts. So I would highly recommend this place. It's a takeaway with a really diverse menu. So I love the wings. They got a hey man, I really enjoyed those. The kabita was fantastic. The rotisserie chicken, I think the majority of you would actually love that. The, I had so much food, I'm trying to remember it also. The chicken burger was very much to my liking. Actually, I enjoyed that. I think next time, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to come back for sure, I'm going to get the double patty. I think I had the double patty and put a load of chilli sauce on it. That was really, really tasty. Dal soup, first time having that. I enjoyed that. So overall, I would really, really recommend this place. The only thing that didn't completely wow me, if I'm being honest, was the shawarma. That was pretty good, but it didn't wow me. The rest, I absolutely love. So I would highly, highly recommend. And guys, if you're liking these kinds of reviews, if you're based in Oldham, because I realised this is like, I think this is my sixth review in Oldham, so they're starting to stack up. I've done that in about a week and a half. There's so many cool places to eat here. If you're based in Oldham, you like this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe because I've got a load of videos planned and that are scheduled to release. So if you don't want to miss those, you want them in your subscription feeds, make sure to subscribe and do the bell notification thing. I never know how that works, I'll be honest. That's why I never asked for it. The bell thing, there's a bell thing, right? Hit the bell thing and <laughs> like the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for staying by to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 b